Learning tip, learning tip, learning tip time, my friends. Learning tip. It's time for a good learning tip again. So the learning tip today is concerning using the living language courses. Because uh, when I started studying Swahili, I uh, started with living language Swahili, and then I had to to shift to shift to um, to local Swahili, and now. Um, I'm finally, I'm finally, finally trying to to study Hindi properly because uh, I started studying with Teach Yourself for Beginners, Teach Yourself Beginners Hindi, and then now I'm with, I was then I was with um, colloquial Hindi, and I realized that living language Hindi it's pretty it's pretty good. The thing is, uh, transliterations are only until chapter four, I believe. So I need a dictionary, I need a dictionary in order to, to check the words on a dictionary. But it comes with audio so we can, we can listen to them. So I got a learning tip for you guys to use living language. So what was my problem using living language? So the problem is uh, the dialogues started being difficult. At least that's what I, that's what I, uh, what I felt when I went while studying Swahili. So I prefer studying Swahili with colloquial and then I will use teach yourself at the same time and I will use um, living language the way I will tell you guys now to do it and you guys might uh, might give it a try too. It's a pretty good way of using this course. So I will use it uh, the, this way. So I will um, I will uh, listen to, to words and, and expressions basically. I will focus on uh, words and expressions. So common words, phrases, common words and phrases and stuff like that. That's what I will do. I will listen to to the words. I will listen to um, to vocabulary and expressions, and I will try to memorize every single um, expression and every single um, word in there. And then uh, I will use um, other courses too. Is I will use colloquial and teach yourself. Um, and I will do this. Uh, I will use this course for several languages. Not so much. Uh, I will use this course, the living language. I intend to use living language for Swahili, and I will do it this way. I will definitely do it this way for Swahili. And. Um, and Hindi, and in a few years from now, Persian. Um, and that's the best way I believe to use this course. You just uh, you just listen to you just listen to uh, to phrases, listen to vocabulary, and then move on to the next chapter. And once again, listen to phrases and to vocabulary and sentences, memorize good stuff. And then use other courses while you should study. Uh, you should study grammar from out of other courses. So this is it for now, and see you guys then.